inspector gave me one more shot to make the smoke alarm go off. This is not funny. It's gonna make it go off. Yeah, just hold that up there. Now, if that doesn't do it. They just tested all of this shit. What the hell is the problem? That is the look of relief. And if you've ever tried to open a business, you know that the time pressure means money and the building inspector means stress. And that was a little scene Absolutely. from a show you get I can see on uh, OWN. It's called Gastown Gamble. And we are joined by the man trying to set fire to himself, Mark Brand. Hey, Mark. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. So explain what was happening in that little scene there. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's the downtown east side building inspector who's now retired to the west side, uh, Mike Collister. A uh, long time guy I've worked with on all our businesses down there and that's him catching us I've got to be open in essentially six hours at that point and he's doing final final inspection and Six to... hours yeah. beforehand. Um, yeah. ex let's go right back all sure. the way uh, of course uh, You know you've got a pretty large footprint in in that area and in Gastown with some of your other businesses Benita yeah. and uh, and Monster Sushi and all this stuff or Sea Monster right Sea Monster Sushi uh, tell us about this building and, and how this all started. Sure. So I was a longtime patron of Save On Meats uh, just because I was broke. And yeah. we were building Bonita, my first restaurant in 07. We ate there all the time. So you get a burger there for $5.99, feed you all day, get an antacid, you'd be fine. <laughs> and got to know the owner pretty well and yeah. then heard they were shutting. Terrible, terrible news. You know, loss yeah. for the community and food security within there and reasonable price. And such price. a huge history of right? Vancouver. And that block in particular, with that building being dormant, it's just, it was a bit of a nightmare. When the counter closed and they kept the diner open and the, the small lottery counter, you could just feel the difference on the block. And uh, a gentleman who was trying to purchase it came to me and said, hey, the former owner would be interested in selling to me if I can find somebody to take over the butcher shop and run it. So nobody's stupid enough to do that. What do you think? <laughs> you do it yourself. I was like, I'm Yay! into it. Let's, yeah, I'm in. let's, let's talk to Al. How much money do I need? He's like, oh, you know, X. Like, I don't, I got like 80 bucks in the bank. <laughs> what do you think? Can we swing this? Long story very short, Al and I talked a bunch, and then we talked with the owner, negotiated a 20 year lease, and then went to, to Van City and said, hey, I got this really cool community project, want to help out? And they said, yeah, we do. And when you say community project, you really mean that. Uh, Gastown Gamble, obviously, is a reality show about you guys opening. Yep. But uh, for those not familiar with your little business concept, and when I say little, I mean huge, how you're involving the community and, and, yeah. and uh, serving them, as well as having your own business. Yeah, it's, it started off as an idea to switch the social enterprise model to an enterprise that's social. So we don't receive any granting or any additional funding, and we're not, you know, funded by the government or the city or anybody else for that matter. And we wanted to prove out a model. I had this, this notion that if we did serve the community at large, that there was a large enough amount of them that if everybody came, then we could make a viable business while also using intelligent hiring practices and hiring localized and sourcing food locally and teaching people about healthy food all at the same time. Yeah. It's a stupid idea. Yeah, well, <laughs> and yet... It's such a lovely idea, but business-wise, as a model, people probably just thought you were off your rocker. They were right. Um, <laughs> they were right. I won't deny that for a second. But because of that, you've thrown yourself into it. Now you have to figure out how to make it work because I've got everything riding on it. Yeah. Every cent I've got in the world, plus my future, and my portions in other companies, essentially, are all in the mix at this point. Well, right? and because the stakes weren't high enough, uh, you're also doing this with your wife. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, Great idea. Because nothing ever works better in a relationship than both working and being married at the same time. That's, right? Yeah. Uh, Nicole decided that she... She was working a great job, uh, which she should have stayed at. Uh, but she said, hey. You're not making this seem very glamorous, Mark. It's, it's beautiful. She's a butcher now. Um, she said to me, she was in the fashion industry, I think that you know I'm going to come and help this, so I'm going to quit my job. And I was like, OK, cool. So what do you want to do? She's like, I'm going to run the deli. So of course I took deli and turned to it into a whole bunch butcher of shop, things, yeah. <laughs> green grocer, sandwich window, and uh, threw it at her because she's a genius, literally. So. Yeah. She took it and ran with it, and we had a conversation at one point during all of it. She's like, I don't know when you Jedi-minded me into taking the entire thing on, but 
You're lucky to you have that woman, check. and you oh, know I, that. I'm very well aware now, of that. Now, can we talk about why the reality show? Because when you're sure. talking about opening a business, never mind the business that you've decided to open, which has got this wonderful concept, why bring in cameras into the mix? Because that is more stressful than most people can imagine. Yeah, and it, the first week it was. So going back as well, a mutual friend of myself and the producer uh, introduced us. And we were talking, and she said, can I do the tour of all the businesses? Because I'm back in town. I'm sort of new uh, to hanging out in this area. So we did. We went and ate and drank at all the establishments. Then we got talking localized politics, which is always a great idea. And then about the Save On Project. After eating and drinking. Right? <laughs> sort of talking this close yeah. to each other. <laughs> what do you think of I love you, man. <laughs> right? So Louise Clark, bless her, she said, uh, so would you be interested in having us come down and possibly shooting a, a small non-intrusive sizzle reel about what you guys are doing with Save On. A sizzle reel being like a seven yeah. minute that they can it's shop around. a teaser around. that they right. give sure. to the networks. I said no, uh, thanks, but no thank and you. And you said no to a lot of people beforehand. We did say no because they wanted to sensationalize what we do and what we do is very sensitive and family oriented. So the yeah. balance of it is, it's very, it's tenuous at best, right? Yeah. So we didn't want to screw it up. But Louise came and she said, A, no exploitation of the neighborhood that you love. B, no exploitation of you. Yeah. And C, no script. Yeah. We promise no script. I was like, that sounds fair, so let's try it. So we shot this reel. They did post on it, showed it to us. I was like, wow, that's exactly what we do. Uh, what's it been like? Uh, because people will get a chance to see it, obviously, but uh, you guys uh, watched it the other night. Uh, it must be interesting because it, the way you guys do things and the way you run your business, you really have to problem solve, leave it behind, you go on to the next thing, next thing, next thing. Yeah. What's it like watching yourself go through <laughs> this process of doing what up to this point is the most stressful thing that you've ever done in your life? Stressful. It's, it's very <laughs> stressful and we watched it watching together the other night. Watching it is stressful? I'm, I'm stressed out all over you again. You were reliving it while we were watching it, Literally. You? I'm like <laughs> looking at my phone. That going, sounds did, so much did fun. Did we finish that? Is that <laughs> oh, did I set the place? Months on ago, fire. Right? <laughs> what am I doing on that ladder? Isn't there a better solution to that? Uh, no, really, it's uh, it's quite surreal because, like you say, we put it behind us so you forget, and yeah. you just keep moving forward because we work on a second to second basis. And yet, the heart of of what you're trying to do and and the basis of it, uh, because once again, you know that strong agreement that you're not exploiting everything, not exploiting the neighborhood, the people you love. What comes through in it, to me anyway, was was how strong a connection you have, not just to the neighborhood, but to the people that you choose to go into business with, right. and all the characters that are involved in the show. And everybody's invested in this as a person, and also as a business. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah, and very difficult, you know? <laughs> it is very difficult, but I guess what happens is you cut all the BS out at one point, and you're just like, you know what goal you're going for. Mm -hmm. There's no need for jockeying for position. We don't have that in our businesses. Yeah. Everybody has a role. So regardless if your business card says director of operations, you're crawling through the roof. Yeah. You know, Elevator got, technician. Right? Uh, or, you're doing uh, all of it. Well, rotisserie Mark, repair wife. Congratulations to you yeah. and your family. It's marvelous. Your friends and everybody who's involved. Save on Meats, by the way, is opened, uh, opened in the summertime. You can visit it. It's a great spot, great diner, great, great deli, great, great everything. And you can watch Gastown Gamble. It will be premiering on OWN uh, next week, January 18th on Wednesday. Make sure that you check it out. Very Thanks nice. Again. Thank you so great much. Great to see man. you guys. Appreciate it. Good Thanks job. Thanks so much. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back,